Hi guys, and thank you for joining me again on my channel. Today I'm gonna to do a short review of AAWP, or AWP, as some people call it. This is a paid for plugin that I use to pull in products from Amazon over onto my WordPress blogs. Now using this tool, which is a paid for tool, I'll go into all the pricing uh, in the review. You can create some wonderful comparison tables and some great in-text links, and some also some content boxes showing relevant products like best-selling products and the latest products within that category. Now to do this, it's just a simple shortcut that you embed within your content, within your WordPress blogs, and it will pull in using the ASIN number from Amazon, all the relevant product details, and more importantly, it updates the prices. Now you can rest assured that this is a safe and easy plugin to use. It uses their uh, API uh, and the ASIN number to pull the products over from Amazon, and it's updated regularly with the correct prices, so you can be safe in the knowledge that Amazon isn't gonna ban you or give you a penalty for using any unauthorized uh, information on your WordPress blog. So it's safe and simple to use and that's why I use it. I have used Content Egg in the past, which I still do on one of my other sites. And that works in a similar manner. I just feel it's a little outdated and it actually is a little bit more expensive as well. So once you purchase this, it's a yearly cost. That's the only thing you have to remember. Uh, but we'll go into that more into detail throughout this review. So let's head over to the computer now and let's take a look at the AAWP plugin to pull in products from Amazon to your WordPress website. Okay, so here we are over at AAWP's main website on their homepage. And as you can see here, uh, it has a lot of information of what you can actually get. So a lot of the functionalities of this plugin are things like in-text links, single product boxes, bestseller lists, new releases lists, data fields and widgets. So uh, let me just actually show you because they have a great demonstration page. So if we go to their demo page, you can see here uh, the sort of things you can actually build on your site. So this is obviously a table, a uh, comparison table where you can add as many uh, products as you want. I recommend no more than five, otherwise it starts to spread across the width of the page. And uh, I tend to use three uh, products on these. Um, table of comparison charts, I tend to do like a budget buy, uh, an intermediate buy, and then an expert buy, all three different price levels. So it gives your user three options in price ranges to go for. Uh, this is another box I use a lot, which is the single uh, product box. So as you can see, I love the way it displays it. Very clean, square, simple. Um, there's absolutely no messing about with this plugin. It produces some lovely internal boxes um, for people to see and click buy now on Amazon. And you can also then do bestseller lists, which are very similar boxes, but they have a little bit more information. And, and by the way, all this is customizable. So as you can see here, you, it says reviews. You can get rid of reviews. You can change the color of this box. You can change the symbol on this box. And you can even have it not to show a price, which is what I tend to do because I, I like people to get intrigued with the product, but then a bit curious about the price. So then they click over to Amazon and then you've got their cookie. So it's uh, you're getting them over there uh, and not under false pretenses, you just haven't listed the price. So this is the best seller list, as you can see. It brings in the number one selling in this demonstration, the um, uh, monitor, computer monitor, best selling, and you can control how many of these would show up on your post. And then you can have some new lists, which as you can see, it has a symbol of new. Uh, and again, it brings up all the latest, most relevant products for the category that you've told it to, uh, to go and crawl. And then you've got these data fields, which are very similar to the comparison tables, but they automatically pull in the information for you. So you don't have to build and create them. They do it automatically for you. And if we go back up to the top, you can also see some sidebar widgets. So this one here is a single box widget, and then this is a small widget. So again, you can have these all listed down the side of your blog post, as many or as little as you choose. So this is just a few. If we go to the all tables, uh, sorry, all template example, you can see again, that's the one that I use a lot, the single product box. But then you can use this one, which is a grid. And again, you can have as many or as little products displayed on there as you want. Then you can have these tables, which is a list um, going down your page. And again, you can tell it the products you want, the prices, you can control what it shows on there. It's totally customizable. 
and then there's this list again I use this one a lot so if I'm doing a review like the 10 best this for that um, this is the where I would put the 10 products and they would appear right at the very top within a paragraph or two of my content just so somebody can see simply what the review is about before they continue then to read through and hopefully they click one of those products you know within 10 20 seconds of being on your website and they straight up to Amazon and you've already got their cookie for 24 hours or longer so let me show you how I insert them into your blog so basically all you do is copy this con this code here so if we wanted one of these boxes here click copy to uh, clipboard head over to your um, website I've just set up a demonstration page here and you simply paste that product short code in there uh, and then all you do here you see this number in the middle that is your product code so if you go over to Amazon this is your ASIN number now this ASIN number can be found in a couple of places it can be found within the body of context so within this product so if you scroll down the ASIN number will be down here there we go there's your ASIN number or an even simpler way is if you look in your URL at the top you will simply spot the ASIN number so if you look at your URL you can clearly see there's the ASIN number and it's very simple to spot this if I go to another one there's your ASIN number again very very simple so all you would do is copy that ASIN number and go back to your um, short code and just insert that ASIN number and then click save and then if we preview that you will see that it's brought that box straight in to your post now this is set up how I do it so as you can see there's no reviews there I don't have the Amazon logo there I have a checkout cart symbol and I don't have the price I just show them that it's available on Prime as you can see here this is really important but this is the information that you need to display to show Amazon that you've used their API code and that it's updated regularly which is what Amazon wants to see it doesn't want any old prices in there that haven't been updated because that could lead to misinformation and look bad on their company so um, so that's how to insert that one if we uh, go back and I'll go to templates and I'll show you another one so let's say you wanted this grid and you wanted uh, these three products again you just highlight that copy it go back over to your WordPress um, blog and insert that short code and then again we just need to replace these um, ASIN numbers which is obviously from the demonstration um, box over on uh, AWP so we'll just go grab these codes here so that one paste it in there and then just put a comma and let's go to the next one grab that one paste that in put a comma and the third product there's the ASIN number let's copy that and let's paste that in there we go now if we click save and click preview you should be able to see a grid of three of the cars there we go so as you can see there's the three cars there that we've just imported so um, fantastic simple easy again no prices um, check out carts instead of Amazon logo and the all important API data there to prove that it's been pulled in using Amazon's approved um, program so let's have a look at some more templates so if we go back here's a table list so again now this is even simpler so you can put the products there that you want or you can even just tell it uh, a subject or a topic so if we copy this here let's copy that uh, demonstration page and just change this number here from three if we change that to let's say eight and click save you'll see that what it does it now automatically pulls in some products from that main category there you go but it's pulled eight of them in now if we wanted to change that we would simply change it here what you want the product to be so let's say we want that to be um, let's think um, kettle so let's say we want five kettles 
Let's save that, click preview, and there we go. We've got five kettles. These are the ones Amazon has chosen, so they're popular, good selling ones. Uh, so simple and easy. Again, let's go over to tables and let's have a look at these lists. So they're a very short, uh, smaller list. Let's have a look at a bigger list. Again, let's copy that. Let's put it into our demonstration page. Okay, so let's insert this short code here. Let's delete the products that are for demonstration purposes on AWP's site. And let's use our own again. So let's grab these three here. So there's one. So paste, uh, comma, copy, paste, comma, and copy and paste. Let's just save that. And then let's just have a look at how that one looks. And you'll see the difference between the two styles of lists. So there you go. That's one form there of list. And then you've got another type here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this one. So this is the Amazon bestseller. And this is um, the one that I do use quite a bit actually. So it's again, simply just all you do is take the short code from here. And I love this one because it's so simple to use. And let's just put that there. And it's going to get the best selling. So what do we want to, to sell? Again, uh, let's say pens. And we want to show, I mean, let's go crazy and say like 25 of the best selling pens on Amazon. <laughs> okay, let's just have a look at that. Hit preview. And let's have a look. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, look at all these 25 best selling pens on Amazon. I mean, how easy is that to, you know, create a post, you know, 21 best this, 21 best that, and it takes seconds to import the best selling products on Amazon. Very quick and simple. It just is so easy to do. Okay, so one of the main functions I use AAWP for is to create those lovely tables, comparison tables that you've just seen. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly do one of those. So all you do is add click new table and then simply add the number of rows you want. So let's start off with having a simple table and put five rows there. Now, the first thing I always do for my header would be model and make, and then you can choose to use the title that Amazon produces, but I tend to find that can be quite long. You know how long the titles can be in Amazon. So I just change that to a text and we'll put our own title in in a second. And then I always put a photo or image. Let's put image, image sounds better. And then we happy to pull the thumbnail in from Amazon. And then we can put here something like size. And then again, I would put that as a, a, a text. So I'm going to write my own size. And then you could put, um, you could choose any of the options. You could have star ratings, reviews. I don't tend to use the star ratings and reviews. I'm always a little bit dubious. I know Amazon are really strict on that. So I never usually do that, but I'll put the prime status. So that means you don't need to put anything here, but I often put delivery. And then I also always put the buy now button and I usually put here buy, uh, sorry, where to buy, where to buy. And that's it, that's the format. So now all we need to do is add the products. And again, we simply need these ASIN numbers. So if we copy the ASIN number from there and add it into this box here and click add product, it'll go and find that product. And then if we get the next one and repeat that process here, add it into this box, find the product and get the third one, get the code, and again, add it into the box here, get the product. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a title, I'm just gonna put test there. So now all we do is simply write the name of the product. So your first one is this one here. So um, we'll just copy the name there and insert that in here. And then go to the second one, let's get the name of that. That's Hot Wheels. Let's insert that here. And then the third one is um, police car. And let's insert that here. And then we've got the image it will pull in itself. So size, there we go. So size, we're just gonna write here um, in text, 
that it is, let's say, I don't know, 12 inches. Um, this one, let's say this is 13 inches, and this one is 14 inches. So you have your delivery status here, which is prime. Okay, so the next thing you can do is also choose to highlight the box. So if we select red here, we could put best buy, and this will make sense in a second. And then if we choose yellow, we could put um, lowest price. And then we could select this one, we could put green, and we could maybe put editor's choice. Now, once you're happy and you've filled all this out, all you simply do is click publish. And then it gives you a little code in the top corner here. And all you do is copy that code, go back to your post, and simply paste that short code into your um, document and click save. And we should have a nice little table. There you go. Now, here's where the colors was relevant, look. So and it's now highlighted this as your best buy. Um, oh, typo. <laughs> it's highlighted this one as yellow, which would be the lowest price. And then obviously here, uh, editor's choice uh, is highlighted that in green. And you can, like I say, you can add as many lines. So obviously you would be more specific. You'd say what batteries this car had, um, the weight of it, the size of it. Um, is it remote control? Has it got a wireless remote? Is it a wired remote? Things like that. But as you can see, I mean, how quick was that? I mean, probably took five minutes to create this lovely little um, table here. And obviously when they click this, they're heading over to Amazon and you've got their cookie. I'll just show you the pricing. Uh, first of all, they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. And their smallest uh, plan they do is the personal one at $39, which is for one site. You get all the core features but it's only for one site. But the one I recommend is the Plus account, which will give you three sites. You get all the core features across three sites. So they will give you a unique uh, key code when you purchase the product, and you can enter that onto three different sites, and it will allow you to use that plugins on any one of your three WordPress websites. So there obviously is more. So if you've got more websites, you've got the Pro plan with 10 sites, and then the ultimate one with 25 sites. Now, what you must remember that this is a yearly plan, you will need to renew it at the end of every year, but $99 across three websites is, is certainly worth the money. There you go guys, as you can see, it's a really simple and easy to use plugin. I suggest if you're gonna make any purchases, go with their plus uh, package, which I think is $99, and it gives you three websites and unlimited links and unlimited products. Certainly if you're gonna grow, like all affiliate marketers, we always uh, produce more and more websites, uh, and that one will allow you three websites for $99. So I hope you like that, I hope you found that helpful. I have left an affiliate link in the description below to AAWP, if you like, it and you use that link I will earn a commission and I really appreciate that so thanks for joining me on my channel again please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel I have a ton of new content coming out in the next few weeks I'm hoping it's helping you grow your website and earn more income so you can spend more time with your family and friends so thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video